And it is going to be Wingshell and Pier versus Tiffany and Kate. Yes, quite the run today. We'll see if they can hold up that stamina, that endurance as they move through the drastically longer loser side of the bracket. Yeah, I mean, you essentially double the number of games you have to play from whatever point you get into the loser's bracket. There's Tiffany coming in with the Koji pick. Cake with the Brin. Seen a lot of Brin today. Not a surprise at all. Uh, this is one of the only Volkovs that we've seen today. We saw uh, Atrophius' Atrophius. Volkov earlier. But yeah. do we see any other than that? Not to my recollection. I, no, I think we saw one other Volkov, like, in the very, very beginning. Not during our block, but during uh, Foda and TWK's block. Uh, I'm, I'm pulling a blank, was. but either way, uh, it is interesting to see Pierre on the Volkov, uh, considering I think he was a little bit more known for his cannon. It was Kaiser. It was Kaiser. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was Kaiser in contrast versus DB and Fiend. Uh, Kaiser was on the Volkov. Ooh, Pierre didn't even get the wall touch, but Kate getting that team KO on that right side. Meanwhile, Wingshell trying to give his team that stock advantage needs to connect with a hit. The side air will be it. The blue team with a slight, uh, slight lead. Ooh, gear over on the edge. Nice dare from Tiffany. You see her floating right next to the wall. That weapon spawn. Ooh, wing shell able to get back both members of the red team a weapon toss is going to come down and finally tiffany is going to find the knockout dare that she was looking for that entire time here down to his final stock here he's got the axe in hand but every time he hits one of the red team members the other one is there to punish and this time he hits his teammate Turn around from here. He didn't want to hit his teammate with it. Ooh, Pierre's red. Gonna have to be very careful on his last stock. Wing Shell is going to put Tiffany on her last stock. Keeping the blue team in this, but just barely. Delight recovery. Wing Shell trying to go high, chase dodging up. Takes able to get away to from it. That stock. Pierre has to extend the stock. Cannot afford to fall here, but Tiffany is going to connect with the recovery. And now it's all left to Wing Shell in the 1v2. The stock count is numerically even, but only for a moment. As Wing Shell goes down to his final stock alongside everyone else. Yeah, you saw Cake recover in the bottom side of the stage. He still had enough to get around the corner, but there was the immediate punish from Wing Shell. Ooh, that was close. Alright, cake. <laughs> Alright, dude. Cake trying to Lane's win the mental racing. game. I'm surprised that's the, the playstyle he's going for, considering again, Cake is not uh in the same region as say Tiffany or Wing Shell. Uh he's playing with a slight connection disadvantage, but it seems like he's doing well for himself as Wing Shell connects with the side sig. That's the thing, even though like career-wise, Cake would be the highly favored player to win this, he's having to fight a very uphill battle. The dodge out from Wingshell barely avoids the side light. The side sig reaches. And that down air might be enough. Ooh, Cake still touches. See him finding the nares. So Try to throw it out on the edge. Wing Shell ended up winning priority out. Weapon toss. Weapon toss down. Cake's able to grab the weapon spawn. Wing Shell not able to grab the gauntlets before they disappear. Cake's wisely weapon starving. Tries to punish the pickup. You see Cake going for those down lights to follow up with the recovery, but it's going to be Wing Shell winning that 1v1. Oh, Cake was... did 635 damage. Did All the really way well. from Sweden. That was a really clean side stick from Wing Shell, too. He did the thing where he, like, slides up the corner, and just as he touched 
around throughout the side signature. Here we go, game number two, Wing Shell and Pier versus Tiffany and Cake. Yo, can Wing Shell and Pier do it? Can they make that the long distance Three, two, run one, through the loser's bracket? It's possible. It's definitely possible. Side light coming out from Tiffany, just waiting. Oh, snap, 2v1 combo. And they ended up picking Pier Cake up towards the end. Yeah. Some fantastic damage for this blue team. Ooh, oh! Back the frames, caught Tiffany. Lots of signatures coming out from Pierre, and they are all connecting. coming out from Tiffany just a little bit too far away. Saw Pierre punished with side air, unarmed. <laughs> Tiffany is going to fall. That is a full wipe for Pierre. Pierre utilizing that down signature. You can hold it to keep it active. And again, the follow-up. I think this is planned coming out from the blue team. The side signature forward. With the neutral light coming out from Wing Shell with a follow-up from Pierre. That's the second time they've done that. Well, it's a very good signature. So finding something to follow up off of it. That's a fantastic idea because it's a signature you can use in neutral. Oh, Ooh. and a nice weapon toss. Tiffany gonna get oh. taken out by Pierre. Pierre with a complete reversal. He is currently dominating for the blue team. Shut down. Nice weapon toss from Pierre yep. for the knockout. Four stocks to three. Stopping the bleeding a little bit. Yeah, Blue Team's looking so good right now. Here again, going for these side signatures. Not quite finding the connections. A nice side air from Wing Shell. Widens the gap between the two teams. Swapping over from the scythe onto the axe. The light cider coming up from Tiffany. A little bit of a counter punish coming up from Wing Shell. There's the recovery. Tiffany's gonna have to be so careful on her final stock. Oh, Ooh, nice good interrupt from Wing Shell. Side signature connecting for Pierre. The down air from Cake and the down signature will get the stock. Both red team members incredibly hurt right now, though. Ooh, nice, Tiffany. Tiffany takes so much in the red. Oh. Picking up both of them. Only going to knock out Tiff. I'm surprised you went with the forward on that one. All left to Cake. Nice punish from Cake. Hitting these Man. side airs. Yeah. There's the strong down light coming in. A stronger kick to knock Cake out. Game number two going the way of Wing Shell and Pierre. And the adjustment from Pierre in play style was everything this blue team needed to get a much confident, much more confident win. As I saw Cake start to lock in the Becky Lynch. And I think we might see a swap coming out from this red team. It is looking like it's going to be the Becky Lynch. Well, what's Tiffany going to do? Yeah, what's Tiff? What's Tiff going to do? What are you thinking about this one? Are you trying to just take a breather? Ooh. Get some advice from Cake. It's going to be the Jala. Okay, interesting. It'll be a Jala switch from Tiffany and a Becky Lynch for Cake. Going into game number three. They know they're on their last legs here. If they lose this game, they are going to be knocked out of the bracket. Going home with a nice sixth place finish. But of course, they want more. Now we have seen a resurgence of Nash picks.
Okay. Also carrying over to Becky Lynch picks. Here recently. Three, two, yeah. Nash has definitely been started like a, to come back into the meta. It's been like a, a few people who have always played Nash, and then like a handful of extra people like picking up Nash. So Nash oh, still has that like dedicated oh, community. Holy cow, man. They almost got a reset onto Cake for more. Either way, that's still plenty of damage, which Tiffany on this low defense Jala cannot afford. Yeah, if you're going to be putting all of that damage onto any one target, you want it to be Tiffany. That recovery will do it at the top of this high ceiling map. It's that early start for this blue team. Weapon top's going down. Just a little bit too far to hit Cake. Tiffany oh, coming Tiffany. in! Down Tiffany. in! Cake! Oh, no. you saw the immediate recovery that Tiffany threw out after hitting the down air. Probably wanted to make contact with Cake to not only give Tiffany the chase dodge to get back up, but to knock Cake upward. Oh, no. That is horrible for the red team. Yeah, this is tragic. The blue team basically lapping both red team members. Still very healthy on their first stocks. Weapon Toss Pierre trying to help out Wing Shell. Unfortunately, could not connect in time, but still Pierre on that first stock. I'd say. Man, the range on that signature is so good. All of those active frames picking up both members of the red team. That's not the first time that's happened. Pierre really showing the power of these Volkov Sigs. Again, throwing out these neutral signatures. Nice neutral light Pierce. Still not gonna fall. The down air should do it. Yep. Oh, a nice ground pound. Opportunity for the red team, Ooh, but they couldn't connect. Tiffany's gotta be so careful. She's on her final stock cake coming in to relieve some of the pressure. A side signature from Wing Shell gonna turn around, take out Cake, put him on his final stock. Meanwhile, blue team both with two stocks each. Oh, the interrupt from Cake. Downlight recovery. Tiffany's still living, but just barely. Wing Shell getting bounced around. Tiffany looking to end this second stock from Wing Shell. She wants it. The Got bottom the side ends up taking him out. Tiffany really trying to extend this stock. You see how back she is playing. Trying to choose wisely when she's going to go in and out. Oh, no. Nice usage. Going to go up to the wall. Go straight up. Able to hit cake. Tiffany somehow lived for such a long time in very deep red. Yeah, but... Just like that, she gets taken out, and it's gonna be Pierre and Wing Shell with the restocks versus the one of Cake. Pierre and Wing nope. Shell Can't already touch. up 2 0, oh, and that's gonna be Pierre and Wing Shell taking the set, further moving on.